Hi everyone. Previously, we talked about uh, talked about the task scheduler. Uh, you know, the task scheduler is available in Windows 10 also. So you can, if you select task, you know, from here task scheduler, you can get it from the start menu. Uh, so we already created a basic task using a task scheduler in the last videos. Now we are going to create a, an advanced task. So uh, the advanced task and basic tasks are actually the same. Uh, well, the only difference is that with the advanced task, you have much more options uh, and much more control over your triggers. Triggers means, as I explained before, the events uh, that uh, will trigger the task and also our actions, the actions that will be performed in the task. You know, we have much more control, much more, you know, uh, parameters uh, that can be, you know, uh, uh, defined or, or handled. Or, or detailed or, de or detailed description or which for which users for example this task should run at what time for example it should run uh, if, if for example if task is missed due to some some reason should it be able to run as soon as for example the laptop is again switched on or something or the computer is again switched on or something if one instance of the um, of the task is uh, uh is uh is is uh, is uh, for example already running should another instant run or not so these kind of things you know you can all handle in uh, in a in an advanced task you know so let's us create an advanced task you can create it by clicking create task instead of create basic so this window will be open just name it uh first advanced task Actually, first of all, because we should, because otherwise these tasks will be listed under task schedule library. If I create it like this, let's let's create our own folder. Uh, my good tasks under this task schedule library, you see. So now click here and then create task. And now you see my good tasks under this folder, our good task, let's say, first task under good task so first task you know this and description is my first advanced task so you see here we can uh, specify if only this this task you don't only when this user is logged on or it can should be for all of the users or with users only with high privileges let us configure this task for windows 10 only uh, okay we'll go next you must at least okay task name you must task actions must enter of course we have to specify triggers and actions so let's create a trigger new uh, in the triggers we have a lot of options for example we can schedule this task on a one-time basis daily basis weekly basis or monthly basis for example if we schedule it daily basis should it only happen uh, i recover after one days after two days whatever if it's weekly basis we can select the day if we it's monthly basis we can select the date and day and everything and if this task should be repeating in this day or month or week after how many hours or minutes or whatever if this task should be delayed by a certain amount of time you can select this option if you want to do it this this perform this section only or this task only at log on just click select this then you don't need the other options then at startup you can select this if you want to this task to perf to 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 perform only at the at the windows or the laptop startup the system startup or at a certain event or at a task creation or modification event or on a connection to user session or things like this you know so you can schedule this task the way you want uh, you know you can trigger set the trigger the way you want for this task let us schedule this on a on a daily basis let's say at uh, 1921 and then click ok so the trigger is set now we have to set an action what should happen when this trigger or event happens what task should be performed you can start a program you can send an email you can you you can simply specify from me for example to anyone then subject and text whatever or you can specify a display message you know whatever 
uh, or we will start a program so let's select start a program click browse and we already created a we already created a test script for the and we detail the actions to be performed in this test script uh, it's just selecting a, a text file but it doesn't really matter because we are not going to test this anyway uh, uh, let's forget about changing the extension now so just click ok and then you can you have set an action now you can go to the conditions you can select the conditions for example under uh, under these conditions for example if the task if the if the computer is idle for let's say some time then you can only start the task if it is you know at this time but if there are certain other conditions also fulfilling start the task only if the computer is on the ac power stop if the computer is switches to the battery power so our task will will be performed at this trigger at this event every day only if our computer is running on the battery on the on the ac power not on the battery power because we have set this power conditions so similarly you can go and set some other settings for example you can run the task as soon as possible after a schedule start is missed let's say the system was off we switch it off later then uh, as soon as you get the opportunity this task should be the system gets the opportunity this task should be performed if the task fail should it be repeated after a certain time you can set this here and uh, if the, if there is already an instant of the task running should we uh, stop this instant and, and for for example in the case of long running task you know should a new instant be started or a first the old instant should be stopped or whatever or there should be a queue first the initial instance of the task should be let run and then the next instant should be let run you know so these kind of parameters you can all set uh, using this advanced task option so as you've seen we have set our conditions our settings our actions our trigger and this is our name first task now we click ok to create the task so the task is created you see these are the details of my created task see that and that's that's actually uh, more or less uh, what it is all about task scheduling and and you see that this folder uh, my good task if it is clicked you see you can see this first task here you can see its status is ready this is the trigger it triggers at every 1920 every day uh, the next run time is you know today at this time the last runtime this date is you know uh, selected by default and this is the author which is you know my username and then which is a creation date so that's uh, what that's uh, that's uh, that's all about you know uh, creating a, an advanced task using using task scheduler i hope you understand this and uh, to for of course we you can edit once you click here you can edit this task you can uh, run it right now you can disable it uh, you can export it you can delete it of course we will disable disable it but this can also be deleted because this task was only for the display you know, for the for the explanation purpose or we can delete it if we want uh, if we delete it do you really want to delete the task yes the task will be deleted you know so now we have no tasks created so that's that's how it is you know that's this is all what it is all about the advanced task uh, creation using task scheduler under windows 10 thank you